Hi everyone, it's uh, David here, RF Shop. Uh, I, a few weeks ago I made comment of a test that I'm going to do, which is just uh, putting an x 2 on a dish itself. Now that by itself is a, is a great experiment to do. Um, the problem I have is that I'm living here in uh, Trot Park, which is a suburb in, in Adelaide, and it's the signal that we have is not bad, because I'm surrounded by about three base stations, and there's always a relatively good signal. So I want to demonstrate what it's about, what we do, and that the antenna itself is actually working quite well. But if you ever want to use this in remote areas, um, that would probably work even better. So I had to really weaken my signal a lot on my modem itself, which I'll show in a while. But first of all, just, just on the antenna. So what we did is we, um, we took an actual x 2. We took the um, version number two, oh, well, version three, variant number two, if you want to call it that way, which is the one that has N-type connectors. Um, with the N-type connectors that we have on there, we put right angle uh, N-types on, and we run the cable over the top down to the bottom which then goes into the um, into your house or into my little um, uh, aluminium house as well. Um, the unit itself, we bought a dish on um, Gumtree, which is just a, a, a kind of a second-hand website that we have. Um, that costs next to nothing, $50, and the antenna, of course, costs what it costs. It's about $300, $320 from um, RF Shop. Um, the mount itself, if you look at what Allen B is, that's the um, actual receiver that they use on, on satellite TV, the, that position is the focal point for your dish antenna itself. So that's the point where you want your antenna to be. Now, this antenna is significantly bigger than those, um, those Allen Bs. So you have to find a way to put, put the antenna there so that if you can try to get the center, basically the orange logo, if you take for the pointing antenna, is as close as possible to the nose of where the LMB would be and also in the same orientation. We just took a bracket, um, we cut it open, we just bend it so that it basically faces in the same direction as the LMB onto the antenna itself and then have that focus towards the middle. Um, and that, that's, that's the concept that we used. Now, the other big thing, I did mention this in the same dish when I did it for a Wi Fi antenna, is these dishes are made, the mechanics, everything is made to transmit up to the um, to a satellite. So because you want to go on ground level, the only easy way to do this is to sw switch this thing around. That's why the, um, the mast and everything is on top. Um, we turn the bracket around. Um, that's quite easy. Like you just unbolt it, turn it around and put it back in again. Um, and then this antenna can be aligned along the ground. So it's not rocket science and you know, a little bit of afternoon of tinkering in your um, in your shed and and you get something done what i want to do here is just demonstrate this antenna working compared to an internal antenna now as i say the um the setup itself is we have our aluminium house but there's, there's a lot of um seams and everything here so there's still quite a good signal coming in i, I sit at about minus 90 um dbm if i do nothing so roughly we, um, we have a reasonable signal and when I just put it in the metal house, we set it about minus 90. So what I had to do is, as you can see on the video there, I basically had to even wrap my modem into aluminium so that I can go into a complete um, bad, bad area so that I can compare the internal antenna to putting this on my, my concept here. So let me show you the results that I got. So first of all, I'll keep the cable in. I can just um, change the settings through my, um, my unit itself. So first thing is, um, just show you if I connect to my modem what the signal strength is with the internal antenna. So, just checking that I am on my internal antennas. So, system settings, settings. Come on, internal, internal. So, that's all good. So, internal antennas all the way. Device information with the aluminium house inside aluminium there is RSRP minus 99. So, that gets borderline pretty weak that's what we have here now if I force this thing to external gonna use my dish see what I get so system settings actually no I'll just do a speed test first speedtest.net go so, all right 53 down 13 up so that's that's what I have right now now if I go back to my unit um, I change my antennas and I hot force it to external. So I now use um, the dish, the dish with the pointing x pole 2. Let's see what we get. RSRP, minus 72. I went from minus 99 to minus 72. Smoking. 
smoking. Now, so let's go to speed test. Interesting to see if it actually goes, goes much better. That would be so cool. 16 milliseconds. Yeah, see, that stays roughly the same. We still have to rely on network settings. But the signal strength is so much better. So imagine this was, what, 72 to 99. That's a, a massive improvement. So if you look at the range, you can go so much further and you still have the same signal uh, or you get back to the same signal quality again. So as far as an impact, this would be phenomenal. Actually, no, 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 throughput is better. Um, yeah, let, let me just hold on to that. Download 60.9, not bad. So it's same ballpark figure. Upload is 26.5. So that definitely is double the speed. So good, huge plus, huge bonus. So I'm actually pretty chuffed here. Um, that's really it. So that's a dish. Um, a nice, nice toy to play with. Not a stupid idea at all. So if you, <laughs> if, if you buy LPDA, you probably can get similar results. But I think this is better. The, the aperture, this is the big thing for me here. So the aperture of the um, x 2 and of an LPDA gives you that 9 to 12 dB antenna gain. If you can use a dish, this dish, if you look at it clinically, is about four times, five times bigger. Um, it gets blocked, so you will have this size of an antenna goes into the dish. The dish then transmits towards your um, base station, and that's basically the aperture that you're looking at. It is blocked by the um, x 2, so you have to take that into consideration, but your, double, your, your aperture is at least double the size. So you can probably expect 3 to 6 dB more gain if you do this properly, if you tune it properly. It's a phenomenal antenna. I'm pretty chuffed, actually. So... Um, that's really all for me today. I, I don't know what more to say. This thing is just smoking. Um, actually, really happy with this. Um, so other than that, I, um, I, I, I can think of many more things that I can play with, but um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So give me ideas, give me any questions that you have on this kind of topic as well. Um, currently, we are heavily focused on 4G and Wi-Fi. 5G is coming. I am excited to see what 5G is going to bring, but right now, it seems like it's still early days, so as far as I'm concerned, as far as the YouTube content is concerned, I'll wait till the um, technology is mature because I feel there's a lot of 4G need and, and demand still to be sorted. If this is the kind of speech that you can get, there's a lot of stuff you can do if you have this bandwidth. Um, so, I mean, and, and I know on 4G you can go significantly faster than this kind of bandwidth, um, better. Um, you can do a lot of video calling, you can do a lot of video streaming through this kind of bandwidth. So 5G is coming, I'm quite excited about it, but 4G for now, for me, is quite an um, important technology. Also with the caravan and community, um, that, that's, that's a big focus for us. Um, please subscribe, have a look on our website, rfshop.com.au. For Australian customers, definitely look at what we can offer you as far as product sales. Um, installation work, consulting work, um, support work on any of the antennas and, and specifically the tonic modems. If you are not in Australia, but if you are overseas, the US, Europe, South Africa, um, any other place, um, I'd still like to have feedback on my um, YouTube channel because I think what we're doing is, is valuable in the um, field of RF and, and telecoms and not just specifically to um, Australia. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Thanks, bye-bye.